How many of you are really angry with God? Far more of you need to be putting up your hand. Because many of you are far more angry with God than what you're admitting. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And and we'll go into some of that emotion later, right? If I don't admit to myself the truth about how I'm feeling about God, don't you think God knows that? Yeah. Don't you think God knows how you really feel about God anyway? Yeah. So if you're going to connect with God, don't you think you're going to need to be truthful at least about that one thing? But we're small fries, aren't we? Do we have a right to, to be angry You just mentioned God? two reasons to be angry with God. I, I put my hand up. Yeah. Small fry and don't have a right. Do I have a right? Do I have a right to say anything about God? Do I have a right to be angry with God? Yeah. Do you? That's my question. What's the truth from God's perspective? Do you have a right to be angry with God? I did ask you whether you had the free will to be angry with God. Do you have a right to be angry with your next door neighbour? So why would you have a right to be angry with God? Okay, so how do you reconcile, reconcile the two? Well, yeah, don't misquote me now. I'm not saying that you're not allowed to feel that feeling. What I'm saying is that if you feel you've got a right to be angry with God, then already that's an error. Did you follow me? It's an error that you, there was something you need to feel. Yeah, we're doing a lot of things with God. And in reality, when we have that feel, we have that right, there are certain emotions inside of ourselves that we're not willing to release. When you feel right and you want another person to be wrong and you're willing to be angry with them for not taking on your viewpoint, you are already in error, are you not? Yeah. But I'm not saying don't feel it. I'm saying understand that me even being angry with God is an error. Mm -hmm. But I'm allowed to feel that. Do you follow me? Yeah. And in fact, I need to feel that to release it. Yeah. It's the only way I'm going to be able to feel it, is to feel it and then it will be gone. <coughs> Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, what's the next thing? Exactly, and that's what we just covered just now, wasn't it? Yeah. The truth about God from God's perspective is that you've got no right to be angry with whatsoever. He did everything beautifully for you. And, uh, and you've just stuffed it up. Now, it might not be you that stuffed it up. It might be your family, your parents. It might be all these emotional, but it's still mankind that stuffed it up. When I say stuffed it up, all they did was they chose to do their free will in disharmony with love. And that's what causes everything to stuff up. So that's God's truth. But see, can you see the difference between my needing to see it, my own truth too? I need to admit to myself, I am angry with God. I am upset with God. I do feel what God has done is unjust. I do feel that it was unkind. I do feel that I feel like a little pawn being manipulated by God. If these are the feelings you feel, you need to be honest with those feelings, don't you? But you also need to see that, no, obviously God, if God's in a state of love and truth, then God obviously isn't the things I imagine God to be. I, know I need to say that, see that truth too. Now that doesn't mean that I take away from the emotions. I need to still experience the emotions. 